The home clash with Arsenal from 2008 was a real Christmas cracker and well worth another look. Martin O'Neill's team played some breathtaking football and easily had enough chances to win. As things turned out, they showed true character to bounce back from a two-goal deficit to earn a late point. Extended highlights now from Aston Villa and Arsenal from Boxing Day 2008. Well, here we go then. Bills, quite rightly, there's the Premier League's game of the day. Two sides who just ooze youthful exuberance and attacking flair. And this might just prove once and for all as well that Aston Villa are the real deal in terms of the fight for those Champions League, Champions League places. History very much on Arsenal's side though. Agbon Lahore, Sidwell's made a run through the middle, it's still Agbon Lahore. And it's fallen here for Milner somehow, Agbon Lahore's continued his run, and that will be a corner to Aston Villa of Mikhail Silvestre. It's taken by the skipper Barry, oh it's off the woodwork! Al Munia was rooted to the spot, and the former Arsenal youngster Sidwell coming within a whisker of the opening goal here. Inside six minutes. How has that stayed out? Three goals already so far this season, Steve Sidwell. Plenty in there from a Villa point of view. Is that night always a threat in this sort of situation? Barry's played it short, fired in by Milner. And it's deflected, oh, what a save! The effort from Luke Young looked as though it was flying in. It was deflected. And the reactions had to be really quick there. And Arsene Wenger saying before this game that Aston Villa will not win the league. Other teams are better equipped, was the quote. Von Lahore. Trying to stretch Arsenal. Oh, it's brilliant from Agbon Lahore. Saved by Almunia, surely. Oh, it's wide from Sidwell. Fantastic challenge by Galas. It saved the day for Arsenal there. He's had a lot of critics this season. William Galas for one reason and another. Well, that is a massive deal for Arsenal. And that was heading goal down from Sidwell. Ashley Young, early ball into the box, oh he's found Milner, somehow Almunia has kept it out, what a cross this was from Ashley Young, Milner timed his run to perfection, he was onside, and it's more by luck, I think it's fair to say, than design that Almunia has prevented Arsenal going one down. Now to Nielsen, the space. Rio Coca wanted it more than. Oh, they're in! Oh, it's a goal for Arsenal! It's to Nielsen, completely against the run of play. The young Brazilian gives Arsenal the lead here at Villa Park. It really was from nothing. Rio Coca tried to get it clear but it was taken off him by De Nielsen, who then finished it. Friedel came rushing out, but he wasn't to deny De Nielsen. It's a really good finish, actually. There was still a lot for him to do, but it really is rough justice on Aston Villa. Ashley Young back to Luke Young. An intelligent run here by Gareth Barry. Whips the crossover. Controlled by Ramsey, who and just lumps it up into the air. We're in the skipper's armband again. Another surge forward here by Arsenal. It's a Boue. He's got Diaby here. It's Diaby! It's two! Arsenal double their lead, 
after just three minutes of the second half and that is what it means to the incisive counter-attacking football from Arsenal it's what they've built their whole reputation on and Manuel Abue waited and waited for the moment to make the pass and when it came the finish was fantastic from Abu Dhabi Brad Friedel beaten again. And they really do have a mountain to climb now. Well, it's going to be a test of character for Martin O'Neill's side. How will they cope in the face of quite a bit of adversity here? Abue. It's nice to Sanya. Ramsey, Abu Diaby. Oh, he could be in again here. It's Ramsey. Another big chance off oh, the woodwork. It was Van Persie. That really would have been game over. Had that have hit the back of the net. Abu Diaby at the centre of things again, though, for Arsenal. Ramsey had a stab at it. Then it fell for Van Persie, who really should have scored. On the hall. He's got him behind him. Surely that's a penalty. It is. Lee Mason, Julia obliges the challenge from William Gallas. And Villa have a lifeline here at Villa Park. Lovely pass in behind them by James Milner. And he did him for pace, didn't he? William Gallas appealing his innocence, but there can be no argument. And Bon Lahore taken down by Gallas. And with 19 minutes gone in the second half, an opportunity here for Aston Villa to make it interesting again. It's going to be the skipper, Gareth Barry. Can he lead from the front? And it's Gareth Barry against Manuel Almunia. It would make for a fascinating contest if Villa could get back into this. Almunia looking to try and make himself look big. Gareth Barry wasn't faced at all, was it? He thumped it home. And now we have a game again. And Villa Park springs into life. There was no way that that was going to be saved. Four minutes to be added on. We're into it now. Nervous times down on the touchline. Who'd be a Premier League manager? Is there one final twist in this game? And Villa get the point that most neutrals would surely say they deserve. Rio Coca. Milner wins the throw. Petrov. Oh, it's flicked on. Chance! They've got the equaliser, and it's Zach Knight with it. What a finish. The boyhood Villa fan, in added on time, puts his side back on level terms. His first Premier League game of the season. And Arsene Wenger's side have conspired to give away two points here. What a strike this is.
He smashed it out. Didn't have any time at all to think about it. He just swung a leg at it and hoped for the best. And he got the best. So to Nielsen. Gareth Barry. Oh, it's just a loose pass. Abu Diaby. How much longer is the referee going to let this go on for? He's blown his whistle. And Arsene Wenger and Martin O'Neill must settle for a point of peace here at Villa Park. A fantastic game. A wonderful advert for Premier League football. But Zat Knight, in the last knockings of added on time, means it's finished 2-2. Abu Diaby had put his side 2-0 up at the start of the second half. Gareth Barry with a penalty on 65, made it 2-1. But then Zat Knight, with his first goal of the season, in his first Premier League appearance of the season, means it's the Villa fans who go home happy. Full-time here at Villa Park. Aston Villa 2, Arsenal 2.